that's not the boys' kit. I'll just put that out there. Not exactly how I plan to start the intro. I plan on making more comments about James and how amazing he is and how he's got 14 goals in six games. And I'm a little in love with him. It's going to break my heart. I can feel it. Well, the game will. And injured him for seven months. It did it to Dorame. We're still top of the league. We're still unbeaten. But we're playing the big boys today. Let's get stuck in. See how we go. Just thought I'd show you that I wasn't joking about James. He genuinely has got 14 goals in six matches. It's... It's ridiculous numbers. Yes, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 23 Career Mode with Derby. How many different ways can I say that? Hmm, one? Yeah. I'm being very, very, very sarcastic today. And that's because I'm sensing a few beatings on the way, because today we are taking on Liverpool, Newcastle and United. Liverpool and United at home, Newcastle away at St. James's Park. Therefore, I don't expect us to get many points from these games, sadly. I could be wrong, though, with the way that we've been playing. It doesn't look, though, that the teams are mucking about anymore because Liverpool's team's changed. Actually, not as much as I thought it would have done. Naby Keita's... He's still there. Alisson's still there. So is Trent. So is Salah, Nunes, Diaz, Keita, Fabinho. Acuna's there from... La well, we know where I'm going to attack there. Arroyo. Don't have a clue who he is, but he's in the defence. And then they've got Fabian, who scored... I think it was the winning goal... Uh, against us last year he's in the midfield as well they've got Marquinhos as well he's the captain I forgot about that Hit, that'll be that'll be fun I'm a Liverpool fan I have a red shirt on but don't read into it I'm expecting big things from Liverpool here last year we, we gave them a bit of a good run we ended up losing but we gave them a really good run but I expect them to do a little bit better Darwin Nunes in particular as a player I'm really worried about playing because he just seems to take it just goes to another level on FIFA. He's he's the player that I think Liverpool thought they were buying on FIFA. I personally love him, but I'm a bit biased. If Fabian gets hold of... Is it Fabian or Fabian? I'm not sure. That's a great ball by Naby. That's a fabulous goal by Liverpool. And Luis Diaz, who um, is got five goals in six games so far this season, is chasing the golden boot. That's a great finish. And he goes and gives Jürgen a cuddle. That's a that's a ridiculous goal, to be honest. This ball here is wonderful. And then to have the awareness to chip that in is great. And it's, it's just a really good goal. I couldn't really do too much about it. Fair enough. Back the man on the ball. Fires it to James. He gets out of his feet and hits it. It's miles wide, though. Not the best effort he's had, but... A decent reply, at least we've had a shot within the first 10 minutes after we've uh, gone behind. Good tackle by Bella Kalchap on Salah, but they're just picking up all the second balls here, Liverpool. I'm going to try and play Nunes offside. That's really, really good. Nunes into Salah, this is a goal. Salah's, it's a brilliant finish. I'm a bit annoyed because I thought Bella Kalchap would be able to chip that off the line or clear off the line and he just didn't swing his foot at it despite me hammering circle uh, Liverpool 2-0 up giving me a little bit of a um, a little bit of an education here Nunes and Sarr it's a wonderful finish and yeah he could definitely hit that I don't know why he hasn't I really don't know why he's not swung his foot at that at least Nunes hits it and he said it's just over I mean that's that's the Darwin that I know wish it wasn't Belakotchev just takes Diaz out. I mean, I cannot handle their front three. Nunez, Salah and Diaz are absolutely tearing me to shreds here. As Nunez hits a free kick. And it's a great save, to be fair, by the goalie. Unbelievable save there by Zach Stefan. Bloody hell. That's a good touch there by Anjornin. Lovely, lovely feet by Anjornin. He plays in James. This is our one real chance we've had all game. James chips it. Oh, I could have hit it across him, but I didn't fancy it on his right foot. It's a brilliant effort. I thought it was in. It's just not quite got the angle to let it give it enough room to drop into that far corner. It was just slightly too central. But this is Darwin Nunes. Is, oh my word, what a ball by Nunes. What the hell, Zach? Don't, that's the first time I've seen him be a bit. I've seen him be a bit Angus Gunn. 
where he just he's just dropped the ball randomly. So I probably should have finished it. To be fair, we're lucky it's only two. Well, we'll we'll be sticking on legendary for a bit longer. I think it's safe to say. Or will we? Benjamin Sasco. I hate to say it. I'm not a fan. Um, I thought I, I thought I was going to really really like Sasco. Either I've not got used to how to use him, but I'm not really enjoying him. He's not quite got that technical ability that I really that I really need. Oh, and Jordan, that's a great touch. Stay away from Trent. And Jordan, there's a reason why Allison's the best goalie in the in the world, and that's it. What a save! The next goal in this game is absolutely vital, and I think Liverpool are about to get it here. If this game's anything to go by, Salah and Takata. That's such a good finish. Naby Kate has been the best player on the pitch, to be honest. And that is... That's an unbelievable finish from Naby Kate. What is this? It's just... It's, it's just a perfect finish. You could not have placed it any better than that. It's literally hit the woodwork on one side, then nearly hit the woodwork on the other to go in. Unbelievable. Seska... Nope. That's a really good tackle, but Diaz has still won it. I mean, a better ball there, and we would have been in trouble. That front three of... Oh, for flip's sake. What a tackle on those... I mean, I, I thought it was a pen. Straight off the bat, I thought that was a pen. I've got to get Louis Theroux back on the bench, because I don't... Because mm, he was playing so well, Louis Theroux. It was a bit harsh for me just to take him out for Sesco, just because... He finds James, who takes one touch, and he hits it. What is going on with the finishing? We've got the cot traps on the ball, mate. I'd love to be able to get a... It's going to be offside, isn't it? It's not. James is on here. I've got to say... I've got to say, Marquinhos has been nothing short of phenomenal today. If James had two real chances in the other games. He was just creating them at will. But... Marquinhos has absolutely dominated dominated our king. As James goes in on goal, as I say that that's a ridiculous finish by James and it's 3-1. I mean that that is some finish. <laughs> There's a lot of anger in that. He finally gets it's not even the right side of Marquinhos to be fair, because the right foot is his weaker foot and Allison should probably save it, but I think it's just it was so much power and so much venom he can't really do anything about it. 3-1 not a very good game really from me there, but it, they're just better than we are. There's no getting around it. It's just a better team. Marquinhos, probably the best defender that we've come up against so far. Kept James completely quiet. So I'm glad though, because that's the, in a way I'm glad because it's realistic. At the same time, I'm seething because I lost and I don't like losing. Not sure if you guys realise that. So it's on to Newcastle. And our away form has been pretty good, all things considered. Well, we've won every single away game so far this season. So, there we go. I know it's a bit unfair on Newcastle, but the black and white against the solid black, I'm not sure how that would work. Uh, in terms of the team, I'm going to make a big call. And I am going to drop Benjamin Sesco. And I'm going to bring back in um, Louis Theroux. Because I think him and James had a really good partnership going on. And I know that obviously Sesco and and James put uh, you know put Tottenham to the sword, but I just yeah I don't know I just want to make put down a marker and be like I don't care how well rated you are or how much money we've paid for you if you don't perform you don't play it's that simple right off we go then uh, looking to bounce back here don't really want one defeat to turn into to turn into two and then get us into a bad runner form. Because that'll be a lot harder to get out of. But it'll be nice and realistic, I suppose. That's one thing I should say. Come on, mate. I'll put a real bit of faith in you here today. It's probably annoyed at me because I swapped him for Sesco, even though he was up there with the top scorers. James! Bang. There you go. 1 0. Newcastle have not been able to get out of their half. And it's Anjornin to James. Anjornin's leading the assist charts at the moment. I think a lot of them have gone to that man. <laughs> um, good. A really, really good start. And James has gone nice and quiet, just like we like it. I mean, that's a poor bit of goalkeeping, to be fair again. He should be saving that. It's two goals per game on average for, for Charlie James at present. Unbelievable. 
but definitely suited to away from home because we're so good on the counter attack. I think that's something I'm beginning to realise that we're just really, a really, really strong. That's not good from Jimenez. We're a really strong counter attacking team. Could save that by Zach Stefan. Probably could have just held it, but you know, whatever. As long as it doesn't go in the net, I don't care. Good header away there by Jimenez. Nice and strong. That's what we like. Oh no. Oh, Zach's. That's the first one with Zach Stefan. I'm a little bit like, hmm, really? Really? Did you not save that? It's a good finish by Mateus Cunha, but and it's not good for me. Though. I don't know why I'm trying to play the offside trap. But, um, yeah, not sure about the handling of the goalie there. Not sure what that was about. Cunha against Soleil. I'll get off of it. Play by Soleil. I'll oh, get off of it, Jimenez. For Christ's sake, you turd. Just pass it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would take a draw from uh, away at St. James's Park every day of the week. But it feels like, you know, like when you go ahead and you just feel like I should just be able to do better. Because then you always feel like I should be on the front foot. That's what it feels like. That's a poor ball by James, actually, for a change. Not, not brilliant. You can tell, one defeat, and suddenly everyone's terrible. <laughs> Love form on FIFA. Love it. Short corner again. I get done by that every time. It's just happened again. Every time it's the same move. I fall for it every time. You just see the defence just move up, and I just... Why? I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know why my bloke doesn't intercept it. I'm in that channel. So why doesn't he intercept it? Mateus oh, Kinyi is giving me the absolute run around at the moment. It's a brilliant tackle by Soleil, but I'm being given the absolute run around by that mug. That's a foul. I don't think I'm going to get one foul in this episode. I don't think I've been given anything. They've been giving me little annoying nudges and hits here and there, and it's really frustrating. We've had more... Uh, i have got to take Rue off. The experiment hasn't worked. He's really not stood up to it. Benjamin Sesco is going to come on. Hopefully he's going to be fueled up by me dropping him. Decent bit of play there. But that's incredibly... That's ingenious bit of footwork there by James to keep that alive. That's a great ball to find the bag the man. Great touch. He's beginning to annoy me a little bit today. There's room in here. I can tell where it is. James, that's better. Into Sesco. Great touch. Benjamin Sesco. I don't like him. I don't like him. It's a big miss. That's a really, really big miss. I won't lie. If that's any of the other strikers, that's a goal. Sesco. Come on, make amends, mate. There you go, well done. There we go, much better. If it's on his right foot, then he's fine. His left foot hasn't got a lot to it. He makes really good runs. It's a lovely, lovely ball by Abimbe, actually, I have to say. And it's a good movement. I thought Pope might smother it, but it's a decent finish. 2-2. Two -two. Don't want to say it's no less than we deserve. I think a, a, a draw is probably about fair. I think they might have... Sesco's on it now. He is pissed off that I dropped him. It's worked. I really don't want Bella Kotchap driving forward with it, if I can help it. Oh, Bimbe, Inter and Jordan in. Oh, lovely, 3-2. What a turnaround this is. He's been really good today and Jordan in. And that's, Bimbe is just magic in that midfield. Absolutely magic. I love him. Look at that for a bit of strength and a bit of composure on the ball. And it's a lovely finish. I mean, you guys are going to get used to that. It's the, <laughs> the, uh, the right-hand channel across the goalie finish. Love it. It's my favourite one. That's nice. Oh, Bimbe's done you again. Inter and Jornin. E chips it. James. Oh, for f I should. I, 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 I won triangled it. I should have just. It's poor. Really, really poor by me. So you has been brilliant, and I'll keep saying it until he gets the uh, until he gets man of the match. Bimbe, incredible today. Absolutely incredible. I don't want to say single-handedly, but he has dragged us, kicking and screaming. Back into this game. Good tackle there by Jimenez. Well done, mate. Sesco's run there was really poor. He didn't get in behind. How did you not? How can you not, with your pace, get in behind the defence there? What am I doing? Sesco's gotten away with that. 
Really, really lucky. I say Sissoko's gone away with it. I got away with it. Not sure what I was doing there. Sissoko's done well there, considering he's not the he's not the biggest guy in the world. That's really well done. We've just seen it out a three two win away at St James's Park. When we were two one down, I'll take it. That's a really good bounce back. Don't let that form drop, boys. Well done. They had a lot more in the way of efforts on goal, but they sacrificed a lot of the ball. We were just a bit more clinical when we got in on it. But um, I, I want to say I feel like I controlled it pretty well. Second half, I controlled it very well. First half, got away from me a little bit, to be honest. And you know what that means? It means that Man United are up next. And are they going to give me the run around like Liverpool did? Because that will have done well for me standings-wise. I'm still top. And funnily enough, United are second, with Liverpool third. So this has been a very, very busy day. United have the chance to get... Oh, it's a busy day in terms of me, you know, playing. Bogdan Jankovic is back. That's good news. That will help strengthen the bench. Looking at the United team, looks very good actually. Yeah, Mario, Kornienko, Costa, Van Dijk, that, that. <sighs> there is no realism in this game, is there? In terms of the lineup, uh, Sesko's going to get back and retain his place. I gave Rue the chance. He's gone back down to the bench. He's not. He didn't do enough to stake his claim. Other than that, I don't really see much of a need to change. The only one was potentially playing Roland instead of Sooty, but. City's got a bit of credit in the bank, so I'll take that. Well, United can overtake us if they win today and take their place at the top of the table. But obviously, if we win, we then open up a five-point gap on them, which would be very interesting at this point in the season. I mean, let's be honest here. We're not going to hold it for the rest of the season. But um, Liverpool gave me a bit of the runaround earlier at Pride Park, and I don't really want that to be the case whenever we play the big boys. I want to show that we can kind of compete. Ah, every time Vivian touches the ball, I get a bit excited. That's he's just got everything you want for a, a like a box to box midfielder. I cannot recommend him enough, guys. If you want a kind of complete midfielder, he is your man. As James hits it over the bar, but Abimbe, I just everything that I'm doing is going through him. He's defensively brilliant. He's really creative. He's really strong. He's really quick. He's got a great first touch. He is excellent. I love that from Bellacott up against Messi. Oh, no, no, no. I've Tommy Asu'd it. I think I've gotten away with it, though. We'll talk about that later, Zach. We'll, we'll, we'll chat about that later, shall we? Jimenez. Into City. Into Anjornin. It's a poor first. Why is the goalkeeper a number three? Is he a defender? Are they playing a defender in goal to take the piss? If they are, I'm going to be absolutely livid. Mm, is that Hannibal? Medjbury scores. Yeah, it is. Hannibal scores. It's a really well-worked goal. Love that. Lovely bit of play there. It just catches the defence a little bit out. Unfortunately, Silver got dragged over to the left-hand side looking for the ball. And United take the lead. Um, it's been a really poor game, actually. That's probably the first real sort of clear-cut chance. Everything else has been very much just sort of in the middle, in the mixer. Not a lot's really happened, to be honest. Neither team's created loads. That last, like, ten minutes. What am I doing? I'm just overrunning it all the time with the defenders. I can't believe that's not 2-0. Should have played in his mate, Vlahovic. It's a really, really poor chance. And I'm only in it because United have been profligate. I have not got going in this first half at all. We've kind of got near near the goal, but not done enough with it. Sesco. Oh, my God. He, he reminds me of Darwin. He reminds me of Nunes. Like, really big. Like, quite tall. Quick. Strong. Just raw. Like, literally. Not, but barely any technique is, is how I see Benjamin Sesco right now. Again, it's just like the passes are just slightly... That's really poor from United. Vagdemas just fought his way through there. Abimbe, good, yeah. He, he doesn't give the ball away. And John into Abimbe. He finds Sesco. Sesco hits it. What a finish. I might take that back, actually, what I was saying earlier. Well, I didn't. I said he can finish. It's just his, his general play isn't brilliant. But my word, that is, that is a finish. I have no idea how he scored from there. And I, I I mean, I don't know who that goalie is. Who is it? Is it Yao Mario? Is that what they said his name was? 
somehow completely undeserved. We've managed to. That's United are really, really panicking now. Um, as a way, this has been such a scrappy game of football. Uh, where is it? Oh, what a save, Zach! Well done, mate. I hate, I hate corners. I hate them. Does anyone have any idea how to stop these, this short corner bollocks? Because it really winds me up. Come on, then, throw it. I just can't do anything about it. It feels like it's unstoppable. Oh, piss off, you wanger. Who is it? McTominay. That feels like I'm being insulted, to tell you the truth. I feel like I'm being insulted if Scott Tominay scoring against me. Thug Tominay. That's really well played by Sasko, who hits it. Oh, my God. I've, I've kick-off glitched the game. But Benjamin, I'm sorry, mate. Oh, maybe if I just badmouth him, he just suddenly starts playing better. I mean, it is. I think the goalie just. I don't think it would have mattered, actually. That's just a fantastic finish. Goal. I don't care if the goalie can see that from miles out. That's probably still going in. And I, I've just got to try to not give away any corners. That's all I can do. That's really, really well played. And that is a sensational save by Zach Stefan. But don't worry. They'll probably score from this, I would imagine. In breakaway, 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 like Kelly Clarkson, lads. What is the goalie doing? And why am I offside? What is the goalie doing? And the goal has he just gone off? Have they, have they genuinely put like a, 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 a defender in goal? I'm so yeah, yeah. Mario's an attacking midfielder. Have they not got a goalkeeper? De, De Jong has come on and is in goal. I despair. I literally despair at this game and how stupid it is. Has anyone ever seen this? United don't have a goalkeeper in their squad. I've been trying to pass my way into goal now. No chance now. We're just going to hit it from miles out. That's what's going to happen here. Because Benjamin Sesco goes in on goal, we're going to... I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Piss off. That. This is just... I, uh, I don't even want to count this as a... I don't even want to count this game now. James is in. Thinks the goalie. I feel bad winning it, to be honest. Oh, I don't. The, the game is stupid. FIFA is stupid. How can United not have a goalkeeper in their squad for a match day? How does that happen? Can anyone explain it? I mean, it's a great finish, but I'm playing against Frankie de Jong. Do you know what I mean? I could have bloody hit it with me, you know, and it probably would have gone in. I just, yeah, whatever. Whatever, honestly. Stupid game. It's a stupid game. There's no respect for career mode, is there? No respect for career mode at all. I feel re this is really unfair, actually, because now I feel like this whole game has been, you know, the only reason I'm beating United is that they don't have a flipping goalkeeper. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like the game might as well not have happened because they just don't have one. So what's the point? It's a lose-lose situation. If I lose to United, I lose. And if I lose, to, yeah, and if I win, I lose because they didn't have a goalkeeper. I was right about Yamara. He's not a bloody goalkeeper. He is a sodding centre mid. I knew it. I thought he was a right back originally, but no, he's the one that plays at Porto. I knew it. Well, we beat United, but how are they second in the table without a goalkeeper? I'm gonna go and look and see if they've got a goalie in their squad, because that's really, really really piss me off that's it they have one goalkeeper De Gea he keeps us top of the league we're two points out of Liverpool we've opened up a five point gap now Man United can't imagine why um, the only thing I can imagine is that De Gea is injured but then they should have a backup goalkeeper it's just and I'm playing City next and they've got 11 points are they going to get relegated like Arsenal did last year honestly but yeah, next up then we've got City, Watford and Leeds. That should hopefully be quite good. It's always nice when we play Leeds. A little bit of a sort of semi-local derby. And as we all know, my game against Watford is always entertaining. So there's definitely a potential banana peel there. Drop points for sure. It's nice that we actually have been beaten by Liverpool and they were the better team. Um, we just got a bit of a stuffing. I could 100% accept that. That's no issue. The United won though. Let's just... Have you ever had that happen to you? What's been the weirdest thing you've seen on FIFA this year? 
And why do EA just sort of sacrifice this game mode? It's so unfair and it's disrespectful and it just winds me up something crawling. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Sorry about my moaning bad, but that's just... Do you, do you know what I mean? It's just taking you out of that realism. It's so annoying. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Um, if you have enjoyed today's episode, then please do like, share and subscribe. And until I see you again, take care of yourselves. Stay cool.